Liz Taylor is famous. In a sense, so am I. But a very much different quantity. No magazine's gonna run up to cover me if I go to a premiere. But it's still a fame. It's a small fame. But you absorb it, you take it. And you like it. You like the adulation, the applause, the people cheering you on, the winning, the adulation, the applause. You absorb it, you take it. And you like it. You absorb it, you take it. And you like it. It's like a, a physical high. It's an addictive high, like all highs in the long run turn out to be. But it's a high that won't hurt you. If everybody went to balls and did less drugs, It'd be a fun world, wouldn't it? And the children now, most of them, 75% of them of the children who see the ball wouldn't know what a ball was if it knocked them in the head. I come from the old school of big costumes, feathers and beads, and they don't have that anymore. Now it's all about designers. And it's not about what you create, it's about what you can acquire. Daytime, if they go out, they're only going out to try to hustle up a quarter or two to get their things for the ball or go to a little job. A lot of them have little jobs now. They work. Don't think they're lazy. In New York City, you, you work or you starve. You work or some kind of work, legal or otherwise, but you have to work to sustain yourself. You have on a label, it means that you've, uh, you've got wealth when it doesn't really. Because any shoplifter can get a label. In a ballroom, you can be anything you want. You're not really an executive, but you're looking like an executive. And therefore, you're showing the straight world that I can be an executive. If I had the opportunity, I could be one. Your peers, your friends are telling you, oh, you'd make a wonderful executive. Now, the fact that you are not an executive is merely because of the social standing of life. That is just pure thing. Black people have a hard time getting anywhere. And those that do are usually straight. I've been to several balls, and they've actually had categories. Dynasty. You know, want you to look like Alexis or Crystal. When I grew up, you want to look like Marlena Dietrich, Betty Grable. Fortunately, I didn't know that I really wanted to look like Lena Horne. Nobody wanted to look like Lena Horne. Everybody wanted to look like Marilyn Monroe, Marlena Dietrich, Betty Grable, Lena Horne. When they're undetectable, when they can walk out of that ballroom into the sunlight and onto the subway and get home and still have all their clothes and no blood running off their bodies, those are the femme realness queens. And usually it's a category for young queens. I'll tell you what a house is. A house is a gay street gang. Now, where street gangs get their rewards from street fights, a gay house street fights at a ball. And you street fight at a ball by walking in the category. They call them competitions. But believe me, they're wars. And they often do lead to fights. The emotions be very high. They're very intense, very intense affairs. But I guess that's what makes them fun, like a good movie. If there's no emotion, you don't enjoy it. Ooh, that's shady! They throw a shade at him. I can't believe it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Let's not get loud. Now, David, David. David! That's the one thing that I find faulty with the balls. After they've laid down these little categories, then they try to become a stickler for exact interpretation. For those little flaws like that, that's because that's a part of shade. That's the idea. Knock them out if you can. Get them anyway. You hit them below the belt. Shade comes from reading. Reading came first. Reading is the real art form of insults. You get in a smart crack and everyone laughs and kikis because you found a flaw and exaggerated it, then you've got a good read going. 
They may call you a faggot or a drag queen. You find something to call them. But then when you are all of the same thing, then you have to go to the fine point. In other words, if I'm a black queen and you're a black queen, we can't call each other black queens because we're both black queens. That's not a read. That's just a fact. So then we talk about your ridiculous shape, your fa saggy face, your tacky clothes. Then reading became a developed form where it became shade. Shade is, I don't tell you you're ugly, but I don't have to tell you because you know you're ugly. And that's shade. I always had hopes of being a big star. And then I look, as you get older, you, you aim a little lower. And I, you say, well, yeah, you still might make an impression. Everybody wants to leave something behind them, some impression, some mark up on the world. And then you think, you left a mark on the world if you just get through it. And a few people remember your name. Then you left a mark. You don't have to bend the whole world. I think it's better to just enjoy it. Pay your dues and enjoy it. If you shoot an arrow and it goes real high, hooray for you.